how to pair program using SSH, Screen, Vim, and Skype. I'm working on a project with a friend, Yuka, who lives in Palm Springs, and we decided to try to pair program remotely. The setting I'm going to show you works so well that I think it will be effective even when you pair program at the office in the same room. I'll start with a demo of the final result and finish with the steps to do it. So let's start. Screen is a very powerful application that comes with every Linux distribution that allows you to open multiple terminal-based applications and continue working on them from another machine. SSH is another application that lets you connect securely to other machines. Using both Screen and SSH allows multiple users to connect to the same session and each user can control it. Here you can see two computers that share a screen session. Inside the session, you can open multiple windows with different applications. The bottom line on my screen shows me what applications are open. Here I have my Vim, the development web server, MySQL, and IRC chat. The nice thing about those windows is that each user can be in different window, but can see what window the other user is on. Here I can see the word guest, so I know that my pair body is working on the code. In the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how to do that. So here's what we're going to do. On the server, we're going to install OpenSSH server. We're going to open up a port in our router, create a new guest user, configure the screen application, and start a screen session. On the client machine, we're going to connect with SSH and attach to the screen session. I'm using Ubuntu 904 as the server, but you can use any Linux distro or Mac machine with some tweaks to my instructions. The first thing I'm going to do is install OpenSSH server. I already have it, so uh, it's not going to do anything. Now I'm going to uh, do port forwarding on my router. I'm going to forward port 22 to my server, uh, which I'm not going to show how to do it. Then I'm going to uh, create the new user. I'm going to call him guest user. Uh, that's the user that I'm going to uh, allow my friends uh, or my uh, pair programming buddies to connect to my machine. I'm going to uh, add Oren uh, and myself to the guest group. And let's see, ls minus l to see all the folders. And I can see my home folder for our guest account. I want to make sure that my home folder is secure. And it looks okay since only Oren can read, write, or access it. I also want to give Oren write access. I want him to write uh, on the guest uh, account folder. I'll do it with the change mode, ch mode 775 guest. And basically, I'm giving members of guest group write access, and Oren is a member. I also want my guest account to enjoy all the plugins and the snippets that I'm using for my uh, Vim. Uh, so I'm going to copy all the Vim configuration files to the guest home folder with this command. sudo copy minus r because I want it to apply to all the files. oren.vim and oren.vimirc. That's what I'm using to uh, configure my Vim into guest. Let's uh, cd guest and do ls. The file I just copied are owned by roots. I want to change it to be guest. I'm going to do it with change ownership, ch own, minus r guest guest, and those two files. Now it's time to configure screen. Let's run the ch mode command u plus s user bin screen. Basically, screen will run as root instead of the invoking user. The only risk here is if there is any authentication flow in the screen application, it can be exploited. But I wouldn't be worried about it. Just be aware of it. Now we're going to configure the screen RC. That's the configuration file for screen. I'm going to open this file. I already have it, but if you don't, just create one. And I'm just going to show you a few of the important uh, lines here. The first one is multi-user on. That's what uh, allows us to have a multi-user session. Second line is what users I'm allowing to uh, access my session. 
those lines uh, will define the line that you see at the bottom of the screen session that have the open windows. It's very helpful to navigate with this. So put this as well. And let's uh, close and save the file. And that's it. We're done with all the preparations. Now it's time to start the screen session. Just uh, type screen minus s vim. Vim is basically the name that we uh, uh, name our session. We can call it whatever we want. Now our friends can connect to our server and join us. Let's see how to do that. I am hanging out at my pool in Palm Springs with my laptop and my dog Guinness. I'm opening the terminal and connecting through SSH to Orin's computer. I am using the SSH command with the guest user in Orin's IP. Okay, sounds like I'm connected. Now I'm going to connect to the screen session Orin created with the name Vim. Wow, that was really easy. I don't need to drive to LA every day anymore. Hey Yuka, I see that you are in the Vim window. Let's start. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Feel free to contact me with any suggestions or questions. Orangolan at gmail.com